Chicago. Well, sit back, enjoy yourselves. You might want to towel off. We're going to be here for a while. Tonight we're celebrating Chicago's 35th anniversary. Now, no group that's been around for that long hasn't undergone a few personnel changes, but four of you guys have been here since the very beginning, back in 1967. Allow me, please, to introduce them. On trumpet, to my left, a good man, Lee Lockning. Saxophone, another good man, Walter Parazeta. And the third good man amongst the three on trombone, Jimmy Pankow. If there's a finer horn section, I don't know who it is. And to my right, a great voice, great keyboards, a man who, like Mr. Pankow, has written many, many hits, Robert Lamb. Now, I'm quite rough again. we're going to be here for a while, so we'll introduce the rest of the guys in the band in just a little bit, but I want to go back to the beginning, Walter. Your house, everybody's gathered around, you're sitting around talking about what you want to do. What were you saying to each other? How do we get girls? <laughs> no, you know what? We just tried to put the best musicians that we knew in the city of Chicago together. We shook hands on it and said, let's do this and don't let anything tear it apart. And here's four of the six original guys who are still here. We've got some other friends that have been here a long time. And you know what? We've been very blessed to do something we love to do all this time. You know, one thing, I was saying this earlier. Chicago is about the only band where I sing along to the horn part. Saturday, bat in the park, bat. Tell me about the horns coming together as almost like a lead guitar. Well, you know, they were... Before that, it was R&B, it was James Brown, a lot of did da did da da So we thought, let's make the horns an integral part of the rhythm section and make them interwoven. And Jimmy could really tell you about all of that, because he did, you know, all of the horn charts here, and Jim. everything. Come here, Jimmy. Talk a little bit about where you wanted to go with this horn section. Uh, somewhere that uh, hadn't been gone to before, I guess. Uh, this is just uh, kind of happenstance for the most part. I, I hear an idea in my head and uh, it becomes a line that accompanies and interweaves throughout the vocals and then I uh, basically harmonize that line and that's the deal. It's don't called, tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. It's called Hit Records. Shall we take another call? Let's take another call. All right, caller. You're on the air. Say hi to Chicago. Hey, guys. Yo. Hey. Hello. Jeremy. Hi there. there you are. How you doing? What it is. How you going? Say hi. Hi there. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear All me? Right. Can you hear me now? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to hear tonight, Jeremy? I would love to hear the uh, acoustic version of Look Away. Ooh. <laughs> Give us a minute to uh, change some instruments here. All right. Okay. All right. Take, us, right take us a minute to set it up and we can do it. Okay. While doing? they're setting it up, we'll talk amongst ourselves. Jimmy? Yeah. In the early days, Chicago, many of the songs stretched on and on. There were album sides where they would pick songs out of, but it wasn't until you brought the songs down that AM radio started playing, because FM right. in those days was where, that's where the cool people were hanging Absolutely. out. Absolutely. First time you heard Make Me Smile on the air, what was that all about? Well, you know, uh, this song, as a lot of people do know, was a just a small part of a suite of songs on the second album called The Ballet for a Girl in Buchanan. And, uh, you know, this was... Thank you. Uh, this was a, 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 a song, uh, one movement of a piece that I spent most of 300 days on the road between holiday in beds at a keyboard composing. Uh, and I didn't know anything about edits until I was in the car one day in L.A. going down Santa Monica Boulevard. And uh, the DJ came on and said, here's a song that's destined to be a number one by a new band called Chicago and Make Me Smile comes on the air and uh, I roll the windows and I'm going, hey you guys, I, I wrote that, I, hey, hey, this is my song, uh, you know, I got a song on the radio, you know, it's like fantastic. And the rest is history as they say. You guys ready? I think they're ready. All right, once more, Chicago.
When you called me up this morning, told me about the new love you found. I said I'm happy for you. Can't you see that I'm happy for you? You found someone else. I guess I won't be coming around. I guess it's over, baby. It's really over, baby. Remember what you said. I know you got enough of me. Yeah, I 